G'day everyone, I'm back doing some cooking. I thought I might call this segment, um, You Are What You Eat. And in that case today, we're pretzels. <laughs> I thought that was funny. No one else thought that was funny? Okay, so out of my cooking with beer book, shameless plug, there's a pretzel recipe in there, but the pretzel recipe is also on the, um, on the Google basic thingy. Hey, um, pretzels are super easy. You've probably got everything in the cupboard that you need. This is what you need. So you need plain flour. You need just some sugar, white or raw sugar. You need some butter. In this case, that's just one tablespoon of softened butter. Uh, you need milk. You need some dried yeast. Now, you might not have that. Easy to get at um, all supermarkets. And you need some bicarb. And I'll tell you why you need that. <clears throat> Pardon me, a little bit later in um, this wonderful segment. Back up to me, thank you miss. Um, this is how easy it is, right? First step is you put half a cup of hot water, half a cup of milk into here. You then tip your two teaspoons of sugar. You then get your instant yeast. And basically, it's two teaspoons of your instant yeast in there. You grab your softened butter, you put that in, and you can see the salt there. The salt's for the pretzels when we finish making it. All we do now is we're just going to give this a little bit of a whisk to whisk it up, like such. And that's pretty much the first part. So what happens is this mixture will start to froth and that means that the yeast has uh, activated and that's going to help the bread or the um, pretzel rise. I'll wait for that to froth and then we'll come back and we'll put flour into our mixer. So you can see how much that's frothed up. Have a look a little on the top. That's good. So that's what you want. The yeast is activated. It's a nice flavour in there. So the next thing we do is we put two cups of plain flour into our mixing bowl. That's about 235 grams. And then we're gonna put this in here, little dough hook. I've got another cup of flour and I'm gonna add some of that to get the right consistency, but hopefully in the recipe, the um, gram amount will be correct. So you don't have to muck around like I'm about to. So turn that on. I'll just give this a little bit of a mix and we're gonna add that into our flour. We just allow it to incorporate slowly. Back then. Great thing to do at home with the kids. Take this, I'll show you what. So that's just the very beginning. You can see it's very wet. We want a soft, kind of moist dough. We don't want it to be too dry. So just when we, when we incorporate this extra flour, just do it bit by bit. And when you've got a nice kind of consistent dough, still a bit wet, still a bit sticky, stop. Right. Come back when it's all formed and uh, I'll show you how to knead it. So I added in about another 60 grams of flour, so that's two cups plus 60 grams. And you just keep mixing it until it forms a ball, which is what you can see now. It's just formed a ball, it's just going around and around. And that's it. Sometimes I find having wet hands helps with dealing with um, your dough. Take that like that. It's a fairly sticky, nice soft dough. Uh, again, if you wet your hands, that can stop that sticking process. But put a bit of flour on the bench, and we're just going to knead the dough just for a few minutes. You'll just feel the texture change from slightly grainy to a slightly um, smoother dough. It's not like a you know like a typical bread or pizza dough where you need to knead it a lot. So once that's kneaded, I'm not going to bore you with showing more kneading. This is what I do. I take a bowl, take some oil, 
just spray the inside of the bowl. Take a bit of excess flour. Do it over the sink so you don't make a mess. Like that. I'm going to cover that with plastic, leave it for an hour and it should double in size, and then I'm going to roll out some long snakes and make pretzels. Welcome back to You Are What You Eat. I'm a pretzel. I love that. I'm going to just keep playing with that. Hey, I've turned the oven on to 2.30, and I've also taken a baking tray and lined it with baking paper, and we're going to put our pretzel on. So our dough has um, doubled in size, looking good, lovely and soft. What we're going to do now is just gently turn that out as such. We're going to form it into a little bit of a a log as such and then oops that's the dog you okay penny excellent and all we're going to do now is cut the log into half and then with each half we're going to try and cut it into three sort of equal pieces it doesn't have to be exact all right this is the fun part, and this is an important part too, rolling it out. So what we want to do is start to roll it out as such. You've got too much flour on the bench. It's like a snake, but what do you want to do is you want to make a snake that's had a, eaten a football in the middle. So what I do is, I find it easier to hold it like this because the dough is very soft. And I'm just going to let the weight of the dough fall as I'm kind of rolling it and lengthening it like so. This is a technique I've developed over a lot of practice. And just get this. Now you can see what I mean by a, a snake that's eaten the football and you'll understand why I do that in a minute. Now I haven't made this for a while so, shaping the pretzel, there's another little technique. What you do is you pick it up like so, you turn it and put it, is that enough? Wait up, you might have to edit this. That's it. Hold on, do that again, I'll just cut this whole bit out. Just, just go from see. folding the pretzel. You just have to remember how to do it. Just film this for a second. <laughs> yeah, you got this? Yeah. Um, that's got to go, no, that's, turn that, that way. That doesn't look right. No, no, I can't remember how to do it. Just go away and come back and I'll get it right in a minute. So one litre of uh, water and you put in Four table, sorry, teaspoons of um, bicarb, and this is what's going to give the um, pretzel that kind of sour, kind of bitter flavour and some colour as well. So, all right, that's that. Now I'll put in five because I've got extra water in there. We'll just keep that down. Back to our pretzel. I've got it. So I've worked it out. You just spin it, drop it. This one goes over here, and what you do, and this one goes here, and then the knot just kind of flips over. So, I'll just show you once more. Oops. Over there, over there, and then just, just lengthen the knot out. And also, I've got a little bit of water. Just put a bit of water onto where they join. That's it. Beautiful. So I've got two. Our water's boiling. So I'll show you um, what we do here. If 
Miss Cameraman, Miss Camera Person, you come on over here. You also want to try and have a big pretzel because when you put it in this water, it's going to pump up and shrink. You want to do about 10 seconds per side and then you turn it. This can be a little tricky. Give it another 10 seconds or so. Put that water back to the boil. And then we put these onto our baking tray. And what I'm also gonna do is turn them back over. So, uh, ends are at the top. That's that, beautiful. And then, a generous amount of flake salt. So I'm just trying to get the light. Generous amount. These are great with the cold beer. So there we go. And, into our preheated 230 degree oven. You cook those for approximately about the amount of time it says in my cookbook. <laughs> I can't remember what I said. But basically you cook them until they're nice and dark and they're hollow and they're, they're cooked. But it says up in the instructions, look down, sorry, down there. See you in a minute. Oh, they're smelling good. Use your nose. You can always smell when something's cooked because the, the aroma changes in the kitchen. You go, oh, they're smelling good. So about 10 minutes. I've got these ones that I've put in, they're coming along, but look at these. Now you can see why I do the football in the middle, because you get these nice long little bits of skinny legs, and then a lovely kind of bready football, and that colour comes from um, the bicarb. If you didn't do the bicarb, you wouldn't get the same flavour, and you also wouldn't get that colour. And traditionally they use a thing called lye, which is very, which is very poisonous. It's a, it's a chemical, so I don't really want to use lye, and certainly not all that good to use around kids. But that's it. Pretzels. Super easy. You've probably already got everything in the kitchen. Um, what can I say? I'm going to have a beer and have one of those, even when they're still warm. Delicious. Anyway. Have a crack, send me a photo, let me know what you think. Um, this is me signing off from You Are What You Eat, and today, I'm a pretzel. <laughs>